Whoosh. How committed are we to putting out content? It's literally a tornado watch right now, if you can see that. There's a tornado coming and we're, <laughs> we're trying to make content for you guys. Welcome back to another very exciting episode of Modern Motors. Uh, we are talking about a K-Brace today. We got a very cool installation. It's a how-to. We're gonna be talking about a performance part. This video is sponsored by Bath Motorsports. Bath Motorsports sent this product out for us to test. Um, at first, we just liked the way it looked, but after <laughs> doing a little bit more research and talking to them, um, it's a pretty cool product. Um, this is actually worked for QV owners, 2.0 owners, everything in between. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments, and we're gonna go get to safety. <laughs> we got this straight from the UK. That's where they're located. They are located all the way in the UK, so. Incorrect, they should have been sent with uh, pre-painted. We'll see when everyone else sees. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Oh, wow, that's cool. Super cool. Those they are, are known for their K-Brace. You can see they have the K-Brace. Nice. You see it? There you go. Super shout out. It's cool, dude. So all you get from them is the, the brace, the K brace, and then you get the hardware installed sent out for them as well. As a reminder, if you guys want to win this shifter for free for your 2017 through 2019 car, all you had to do was watch this video up here. It costs zero dollars. Go ahead and watch the video and help us out. Bath Motorsports, go check, go check them out. Uh, even if you don't plan on buying one, uh, help our sponsors out. They make these videos possible. Go check out their website, go click around. Maybe you have a different car that they make a part for. Maybe you're interested in just this part. Um, but just go click on the website, check it out. The link is in the description again. K-Brace is specific to Bath Motorsports. Um, again, truly thank you for sending this out to us um, and giving us the opportunity to put this in. We're gonna roll into the video. All right, if you're looking to reduce a body displacement by 18%, this much for you. You're first gonna open the trunk. You're gonna pull out your carpet. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, gonna be two clips. So well, first we're gonna start with these two clips. There's two clips up here. One right back here and one right over here somewhere. There you go. And uh, I'm gonna pull those out right now. All you really need is a rib nut. Um, and just pretty much bolt this thing in. You're gonna rib nut into those two factory holes back there. One over there, one over there. And then we're gonna drill two holes out on the top. Uh, essentially, it should sit something like, I don't have that long to reach. And then it should meet me up here. That's how it should sit once we're done. <clears throat> All right, let's talk a little bit about the K-Brace. Uh, this was developed by Bath Motorsports. They're located in the UK, like I said in the beginning of the video, all the way from Yorkshire. They're well known in their local area for their exhaust work, actually. Um, and they started working on this K-Brace to obviously reduce uh, body roll. They worked with the University of Hudson to quantify the effects of the K-Brace um, on different cars under uh, different loading conditions. Um, so obviously they're pretty well known for these K-Braces. Thankfully, they made one for our car. Um, and yeah, like I said, they sent this out to us. We're really excited to get it in. It's a very simple install. Um, Alrighty, 1738. This is a 1732 <laughs> uh, that we're gonna try. I don't know if this is the right size. Uh, honestly, there's no technically direction specifically for this. So we're gonna try to drill that hole out a little bit bigger, see if this works out. Um, I thought I was gonna have to use a rev nut gun tool, but they actually have this pretty cool little invention. Yeah, you just put this big guy over it. You get your and you stretch it on, should work. I'll show you guys in a second, but let's see if we can make this hole just a little bit bigger. Because if you see, it doesn't fit. It's just like <laughs> smidge shy. So Ooh. we are gonna try to. What's really nice, <clears throat> like I said, is they put this in here. Hopefully, I did this right. You get this kind of snug in here, and then you push this on. What a nifty little invention. Right. It's actually super beneficial. So don't even need, you don't even need a gun. They, they really well thought this out. <laughs> Shout out to you guys. <laughs> Alrighty, we're geniuses. <clears throat> in order to make sure we got right in that hole, we just lined it up. We put that bolt in, uh, cause this hole is a little bit bigger in a weird way. We've got a marker. We know what our endpoints are. It's exactly where we're gonna drill at. So, oh. Oh, 
All righty. Is that it? Yep, same process. Nice. We are going to put this little bad boy on. <laughs> All right. I didn't really explain this last night. I just started drilling. But when you come under here, come on this side. On each side, there's already, a, I was actually accidentally making a new hole, but this actually hole really works. Um, you just have to drill out the factory hole. This is where that clip goes. If you pull this piece of fabric out, that's that clip. So basically we're just drilling that clip hole out bigger. And uh, that's it. We're just gonna make it bigger. And that's 1732. Yep. I really wanna say 1738. This, <laughs> this is 1732 and we're gonna drill it out. I know this is like a how-to, but don't follow what we're doing. <laughs> um, so here's a theory. This, I know it's kind of gross, but this like was like burned into over there. So I know like where our starting point's at. And I'm assuming if I do this upside down, in theory, grab marker. Pull this up, there you go. In theory, we need to cut somewhere like around here-ish. Doesn't need to be perfect. If you have a clean carpet, unlike us, maybe a little bit harder for you, get some measuring tape. For us, because I don't know what this Healthy. is. <laughs> this burned through our carpet. I don't know what this is. If somebody, I know someone's gonna tell me, that's actually battery, so someone's gonna tell me. what I don't know what this is, but it burned through. Let me see. Like, it, it burned through the metal. So, I'm sure somebody will tell me. It's, it's dust. Two questions that I assume people are gonna ask. Do you have to do this part? No, you can just leave your trunk mac out. Two, does the trunk still work? Yes, the trunk still works. Function does, uh, not, not the trunk, but the back seats function as normal. You don't have, to, I mean, they can come up and down. If you guys didn't capture that from this video. Ricky, what happens if I mess this part up? These are only 140 bucks online, check for you guys. <laughs> so if you happen to make the unfortunate mistake like we do, And it cuts through with a knife. That's what it feels like. Is it good? Alrighty, this is how it should look when it's done. Do not listen to our cutting of carpet skills. I don't think we got. Did we get that on video? Oh, I got it. At least I have yours. <laughs> um, so this is how it should look. Drop this. Still work. Still functional. Yeah. Bracing in the back. It looks really dope. Backseat still work. We got, we got a vacuum. Don't judge us. We got a vacuum. Yeah, we literally just got done cutting. I'm gonna put the lights on. It's not even bolted in 100%. That's clean. Wow. Let's see. Let's bolt it in. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little messy. Okay, I'll be honest. It's a little messy. Yeah, we just got done cutting. Um, Listen, I can't be a reupholster, engine modder, metal worker. I can't fabricate, can't do all this stuff, okay? <laughs> at some point, I'm gonna have to suck at some things and carpet cutting is not my thing. We just didn't have our Dremel. We didn't have a Dremel, so we had to you literally use a drill. Again, this wasn't probably the best how-to, but thank you again for Bath Motorsports sending this out. Really cool product. I wish we could take it on a track or go take it for a drive, but unfortunately, I've used all my body energy today and I am capped out and I gotta make sure I re-edit this, which is gonna take me another however many hours. Appreciate you guys for watching another one of our videos. We truly, truly appreciate you. We truly, 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 truly appreciate Bath Motor sending this out. Looks great. If you guys want to pick this up, go to their website. It is under K-Brace, type in Julia, and it's there. We'll see you guys next Monday. <laughs> Dude. Brace catch out here. <laughs> The tornado just falls down like right here. Oh man. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> um, today we're gonna be talking about. I'm gonna try to show the stickers, but I don't think this is. Gonna work. Can we hold them for you? Yeah. Today we're talking about the K brace. I don't know if you guys can see that. Don't pay attention to my nails. We're paying attention to the K brace. <laughs> this is by Bath Motorsports. Shout out to Bath.